Hello Stuart, you are the EFLAS Senior Policy Advisor and um, it's, that's a very interesting top um, position. It will be uh, good if you can explain to us why EFLA has such a, a person in the staff and what are the issues that you are tackling these days? Uh, yeah, um, the IFLA Senior Policy Advisor is a new position at IFLA. Um, so I've been in the post for about two years now. Uh, before there was no capacity at IFLA headquarters to really coordinate the advocacy work that was being done by some of IFLA's sections and core activities. So with the Senior Policy Advisor position, um, we have been able to devote some time and some capacity at IFLA headquarters to coordinate the work of the FAITH Committee, the Freedom of Access to Information and Freedom of Expression Committee of IFLA, which looks at libraries and human rights uh, and access to information. We've also been able to uh, coordinate much better IFLA's advocacy work in relation to copyright. So I coordinate the work of the Copyright and Other Legal Matters Committee in the work that we do, particularly in relation to the World Intellectual Property Organisation, or WIPO, where we are currently advocating for um, minimum uh, exceptions and limitations to copyright law uh, for libraries worldwide. Um, it also gives us the opportunity to be a bit more proactive in making partnerships and cooperative activities with organisations like UNESCO, uh, the United Nations Bodies, uh, or the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Uh, other civil society organisations that deal with libraries. So really it's, I would say, quite an important post for an organisation like IFLA to have because without it you still get the work done through IFLA's committees but you don't have somebody pulling it all together at IFLA headquarters uh, and really keeping oversight of everything that's going on at once because within an organisation like IFLA We've got 42, 43 sections, six core activities, and um, it's just very difficult to keep up with all the work that's going on. So, um, and what are the areas, as you see uh, right now, that are sort of like the hot areas, or that people are uh, paying more, maybe, um, attention these days? Um, copyright is certainly um, the most pressing area for us at the moment. Um, I would say that with libraries moving into the digital age um, and with copyright frameworks perhaps still staying in the analog age we're finding that a lot of the functions that libraries have been doing in the past preservation uh, interlibrary loan for example we just don't have the correct copyright frameworks to support these activities in a lot of countries around the world so whilst we have a lot of opportunities for libraries in, in the digital age we're not really able to take advantage of them so that's a key issue for IFLA to deal with. Information society issues in general um, and the use of ICTs in libraries, public access to the internet is another absolutely key issue for us uh, and IFLA has several sort of training programs uh, related to this. And then the other really really hot issue for us is building capacity for library associations. They're IFLA's key constituents and We've just developed a, a large training program called Building Strong Library Associations, which aims to help library associations sort of stand on their own two feet and do work in their own country advocating for libraries. So advocacy in all these areas is probably the biggest thing for us right now. And what is the, the, those themes that are you, and you enjoy more from your job? Um, well, I enjoy the travel when I'm travelling, but uh, I also there's a lot of travelling for the job, so sometimes they get a, a little bit too much. I think what I really enjoy is, um, certainly with the copyright work, is being close to the mechanisms where decisions are made to go to the United Nations, to go to WIPO, um, to actually look at the, the backroom dealings, the work in the corridor, to see the government delegations doing the work. I really enjoy that. Um, and I enjoy having the freedom in the job to keep up with everything that's going on in the world of technology, which is what I'm particularly interested in. Um, so um, I think that you know developments in reading technology, iPad, Kindle, the frameworks in which they operate. It's all stuff I'd be interested in anyway, but I get to do it for a job, so it's, it's pretty fantastic. Thank you.